Hello everyone, welcome to Forges of the Alliance. Today we're going to be building the small Sprylo kit. Uh, this kit consists of uh, one single Sprylo and two double Sprylo kits. Um, we're going to show you how to make these. Uh, we're going to show you how to build one of the double kits. And then you can repeat uh, the steps we're going to show you for the other two because they're exactly the same. So uh, first off, uh, important decision for you guys is to decide which spray can are you going to use. Um, in the piece there's a small ring you can press out which will allow you to change the configuration for multiple spray cans that are in circulation and that are popular if you're using uh, gw cans for example keep the ring in uh, but certain other cans actually are a little bit wider at the bottom so you need to push the ring out which is quite an easy action you can just twist it and take it out uh, for the cans we're going to be using today we're going to need to twist them out because they're a little bit bigger they're a different size so once this is basically step one, this is an important one. Don't forget to do this before you glue, because otherwise you're going to have a rough time trying to get it off afterwards. Um, after you've done this, uh, make sure to grab one of the base plates. Make sure to add a little bit of glue to the bottom. Um, important here is to take the inside of the circle, not the outside, as the inside of the circle is quite easy to clean. And the outside of the circle is quite close to a lot of the edge lines we have in the bottom. So having excess glue there is gonna result in a, in a messy result. So make sure to not put too much glue on. As you see, I only put a, a little bit of glue on. Um, when you push it down, make sure to swivel it around a little bit to make sure the glue adhes uh, has a good adhesion. So make sure to line it up properly. There's some etching on the bottom that will basically tell you where this piece needs to go. So after you've Apply a little bit of light pressure and making sure to line up all the lines properly and as you all know if you're in a hobby like this it's always important to have follow the instructions carefully so uh, after you've done this you yeah, you can see it lines up perfectly with the with the etching on the bottom uh, there's some excess glue in the bottom uh, which you can just take away so just grab a, an extra piece of mdf or uh, or a knife or a, a wet uh, paintbrush and just make sure all the PVA is removed. So make sure to do that as soon as you can, uh, as it will help to get the can to fit properly, as the edge where we're removing the glue from is also where the edge of the spray can is gonna be. So doing this properly will make sure that the, uh, the construction in the end is gonna be a lot easier. So after you've uh, removed all the glue, we're gonna set this piece to dry for a bit, and uh, we're gonna start assembling the top part of the kit and um, why do we do this first uh, this will actually be a drying mold for you guys um, to use when you're assembling this as the railing this part fits very well around the bottom face so you can and once you've glued the top you can set it on this to, to harden and then to let the glue set and ensure that none of the bits move while it's drying so once you've done this set it aside so once you've uh, constructed the bottom, uh, we're gonna start on the top piece. Uh, the, for the top piece, it's two parts. It's the railing, very pretty. And then we have the walkway itself. Uh, in the walkway, there's a lot of cutouts. So make sure then when we're applying glue to only put glue in those sections to prevent any uh, excess spillage that you have to clean up later. Um, with the kit, you get a lot of these struts. Uh, you need 12 for this one, eight for the small kit. So in total, so you, you should have 32 in the kit. So make sure to count them before you start. Uh, if you miss any parts, just send us an email, we'll send them out to you. Um, once you start gluing this, it's always easier to glue all the, all the walkway at once. So we're gonna apply glue to all the pieces and then put on all the struts at once. So make sure to get a little bit of a droplet on the end of your uh, glue dispenser and just drop that into all the gaps. We're going to do that to all the pieces, so all the cutouts are going to have the same treatment. So if one of, once you've done that, uh, make sure to, yeah, if you see some like excess that is definitely not going to be covered by a, by a component, just make sure to clean it off now as it's still wet, it's super easy to remove. 
and it's better to do it now than to do it later because then yeah, it's a lot more work. So once you've done that, we're gonna take our struts and we're gonna start adding them in. Make sure to apply some decent pressure so you're, uh, you're sure they're secure and in position. There should be some glue uh, pushed out on the sides or on the bottom. That's actually a good indicator that there's enough glue in there to make sure that the component is uh, properly glued and in place. We're gonna do this completely, so all the way around. And once that's done, we're gonna set it off to dry for a little bit. And then we're gonna continue and adding the railing on top of it. Um, why do you want it to dry a little bit? It's good to make sure that we don't have any uh, movement while we're putting the railing on, because that actually makes it a lot harder. Just a little bit. There's not enough glue there, so I'm just gonna steal some glue from another part. So there's more than enough glue to go around. So once you've completed this, um, this is one of the parts of the assembly that is a little bit time consuming, as you can tell, but it's important to do this properly as this is what will make, uh, will give the piece its structural integrity. So make sure to do that properly. So once you've done that, uh, just clean off all the excess glue and then uh, we're gonna set it aside for a couple of minutes and then continue on. So once you've completed this step, uh, you're gonna add glue to all the top of the struts. Um, make sure that's a, a good amount of glue. Don't skimp on it here, because it's important that you have a good bond and it's quite easy to remove uh, any excess. So uh, make sure to uh, put some glue in the top bit. So in the cutout at the top, because that's where we're gonna press in the railing afterwards. So once you've done that, just make sure to align the railing properly. Uh, take your time here because it's uh, it's a fragile piece, it's quite thin. So uh, it has a little bit of flex, which is fine because uh, you can actually use the flex to, uh, to, to help you position it. But it's easiest to just start at one point and then just go all the way around, making sure that all your previous struts stay in place. Just add it on top, make sure to align it and just keep your thumb up on it while you go all the way around the kit. So once it's completely on, uh, just take your finger uh, while you're pressing it. Make sure to remove any of the like super excess, like uh, the, the huge blobs, uh, especially in the top, because we're gonna set it on there to dry. So it's important that there's not too much glue on there, otherwise we're gonna glue the piece together, which is of course not what you want. So just go all the way around, making sure that you don't press out any of the previous ones you did. So it's easiest to do uh, pieces that are opposite to each other to make sure that you don't apply any pressure that will uh, pop one other pop one out that is already glued so once you've done this we're just going to flip it over and we're going to place it on the floor plate we already made for it to dry and uh, that's also where we can see that it's quite sturdy now so this is the time where you can apply some additional pressure uh, check that there's no uh, excess glue coming out. If that's okay, you can just leave it on there. And then uh, once this is in place, uh, it's not going anywhere. We can uh, clean off all the excess glue that's still around the struts in the bottom. You don't have to be super careful about this as most of this won't be, uh, won't be really visible. Or uh, if it's visible, it's gonna look like a, like a, a weld, like a bead line which is not bad, which actually looks quite natural. And once you've completed this, you can set this off to dry. And we're gonna show you how to assemble the final detail pieces. And then we're just gonna repeat this process for the other uh, portion of the kit. So this is fine now. You can leave this to dry for quite a, if you have the time, leave it for at least 10, 20 minutes. Or if you really have the time, leave it overnight. 
uh, to ensure that the, the, the glue is completely set and there's no uh, problem uh, uh, taking it out. Um, what you can do is put a rubber band around it to ensure that it, there's always downwards, uh, downward pressure to make sure that none of the struts pop out while it's drying. So you can just leave this here. Um, we're gonna continue with one of the smaller detail pieces. So these are the pieces that are gonna go on top of spray can. So this is gonna be on top of this. And then there's gonna be a little lid, which we're gonna glue down. And this ring is actually to fit inside of here. And that will keep it from sliding around. and also gives you an extra surface area to glue on. So uh, for this, just take uh, all the pieces. The easiest thing to do is to glue the center bit first. So glue the lid onto the top bit first. Just put a little bit of glue on. Don't overdo this because yeah, it's a small piece and it's really hard to get rid of all the excess because there's a, an edge line around it and then you're just going to fill that. So there's going to be a bit of a waste. So when you apply it, give it a general, huh, give it some pressure. Make sure to align the hinge between two of the bolts that are on the side. And once that's set, yeah, you can leave this to dry for a little bit if you want, or you can continue, but just be careful not to uh, put any pressure on this so it doesn't move. So uh, we're gonna go to the bottom bit. I'm gonna add some glue to that as well. And then try and align it as best as you can to the center of uh, this ring. So it aligns perfectly to the center of the spray can. If there's a little bit of an uh, of a deviation you're not going to see that too much but it eh, the closer you get is the better it's going to be once you eh, if you apply pressure make sure not to touch the center bit so you don't skip that around eh, don't move that around and then eh, as always try and remove as much of the excess as you can without moving the bit too much it will just make it easier to uh, get it into place later uh, but for this component it's not too bad because eh, a little bit of extra uh, glue is just going to help it sit even tighter, so that's not that big of a deal. So once you've done this, you can just continue this process for all the other components. And then we're going to uh, paint it, and then we're going to show you a final assembly. We've assembled all the components, so both double spilos and the single spilo. They're currently gluing, uh, sorry, drying. Um, once they're dry, we're gonna go outside, uh, use some spray paint and to paint it all black and then uh, do some zenithal silver on it. And then uh, we'll be back to show you the final assembly. So guys, uh, this is why you need coffee. Um, we forgot to sand the cans before priming it. Always sand your can, people. Otherwise the paint will, uh, will let go and then you have to redo everything again. So please, sand your shit. We're back from painting. So as you can see, we uh, primed everything black, um, added some uh, metallics to it to give it a bit of an industrial feel. Um, after that, we're gonna finish the final assembly of the kit. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that everything is aligned properly. So we're gonna take our spray cans. I'm gonna add uh, glue in the cans. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna add a bead of glue on the inside of the, of the base. Once that's done, we're gonna add in all the, uh, the cans. And after that's completed, we're gonna attach all the tops and all the other separate components. So um, first add in a bead of PVA glue. You can use uh, super glue for this as well or uh, construction glue or whatever you uh, prefer at the moment. You'll notice that the fit of these is quite good. So it's important to uh, make sure to apply the decent amount of pressure, but don't overdo it. I'm gonna add uh, glue in the cans. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna add a bead of glue on the inside of the, of the base. Once that's done, we're gonna add in all the uh, the cans and after that's completed we're going to attach all the tops and all the other separate components so um first add in a bead of pva glue you can use uh, super glue for this as well or you'll see that there's a small um 
small gap or a bead line on almost any spray can. That's uh, due to the construction process. Just try and make sure that those are pointed towards each other to give the most optimum finish. Make sure to apply the decent amount of pressure, but don't overdo it. And just glue the top bits on. Just put a nice bead of glue in the edge. You can take your finger and spread it around a little bit so it's not too concentrated in one spot. And just tap it on. Give a little bit of pressure. And as you can see, it fits really well. And then you can orientate it any way you want. Um, actually, the most logical way to put them is to put them that they open towards each other. That's actually the way you'll see it in most industrial areas. So we'll do the same for the other one. So once you've done that, uh, we're gonna do that for all the kits. Then we're gonna add on the top of the kit. So for this, uh, make sure to add some glue on the inside, uh, on the inside circle. So not within the circle, but on the bottom still. We're gonna do that for both circles and then we can glue it up uh, on the spray can itself. So make sure to put a decent amount of glue on this as it's quite important to get a good adhesion to the spray can. The surface area isn't huge, so more glue actually helps. Then once it's on top, just make sure to give a little bit of pressure down. Uh, in order to make sure it glues properly, what you can do is just flip the can and just leave this dry for a little bit. So uh, once this is going, I'm, uh, I'm gonna start gluing on the rest uh, and we'll come back to this one uh, after I've done the other ones. And then we're gonna finish up and putting all the other pieces on there. Okay, so uh, once the glue is dry, the last couple of steps we do is actually the easiest ones, is to put in the leather. You can see there's two notches in the bottom uh, and an opening here. Uh, because uh, the MDF is painted by now, uh, it's important to use super glue instead of uh, PVA to glue these two components together. So just uh, put a little bit at the bottom because there there's enough grip that it will stay. But at the top, it's just a contact area, not, a, uh, not an actual fitting. So we're gonna put it in, just line it up at the bottom. Once this is lined up and glued in place in the bottom, you take some super glue and then uh, in between the edge of the ladder and the platform, just put a couple of drops. And just press it together and just hold it for a couple of seconds uh, to let the glue do its job. And then the last thing to do is just to glue in the straws. So uh, the straws are gonna be in here. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap that's intended, so it's quite easy to glue in, otherwise it's quite hard to get it into place. Best way to glue these is put a little bit of super glue on the bottom. Make sure to put a little bit of a half circle of glue on the top. And then we're going to put some glue in the bottom. And then make sure to uh, put the half moon facing inwards. Just put it in and then just leave it to dry. As you can see, no more looking true. So it's actually lime side blocking right now. So uh, as you can see, this is what you end up with if you're done. Uh, we quickly painted the cans black, but as you can see on the side here, uh, there's, uh, you can use any color you want and you can add some detailing, some rust, some weathering, some dry brushing to the entire piece to blend it into the mat of your choosing. And of course, uh, you can combine these with our beautiful walkways, uh, which are included in the sets, but there's a different instruction video for that coming out. So make sure to check that one out as well. And once you combine this completely, you can get an amazing piece of scenery that, you, that will look amazing on any table. So thanks for watching and see you later. I quickly painted the cans black, but as you can see on the side here, uh, there's, uh, you can use any color you want and you can add some detailing, some rust, some weathering, some dry brushing to the entire piece to blend it into the mat of your choosing. And of course, uh, you can combine these with our beautiful walkways, uh, which are included in the sets, but there's a different instruction video for that coming out. So make sure to check that one out as well. 
And once you combine this completely, you can get an amazing piece of scenery which you, that will look amazing on any table. So thanks for watching and see you later. Thank <laughs> you.